Welcome back everyone. Today's the day we transformed the whole look of the 4Runner for about a hundred bucks. Check it out. All right, we're gonna take a little walk around the 4Runner for a before idea and then we'll get to our project. Just got it all cleaned up and prepared and we are going to get to it right now. All right, so today's project, we are going to change the color of the wheels. We will also change the uh, color of the back emblem and also the front, the lower balance, the front emblem, and just below the front emblem, part of the grill itself. So it's all going to go with Hyper Dip, and it's going to be shadow black, so we'll have a little bit of a sheen to it instead of being a matte or a flat black. And I'm excited about using Hyper Dip. This was actually developed by Fonzie, owner of Dip Your Car, and he pretty much developed this from the ground up. So with Placid Dip, if you wanted any kind of sheen to it, you had to add in a glossifier. So this will take care of all that in just one step. On to lower viscosity, so it lays on a little bit smoother. The application will be slightly different. We're going to prep the wheels right now and then we'll get going on this project. So I'm gonna prep uh, all four wheels, but I'll show you the uh, preparation on the first wheel here. And then uh, we'll show you how to paint. But basically a three-step process as well. We're going to take the plastic bag, shove it in between, and then we're going to wrap and protect um, the rotor and the brake caliper. We're going to apply a dip release to the outside of the wheel. This way when we spray at the very end, we'll just be able to take off the uh, overspray. And then the third step will be cleaning the actual wheel surface with the uh, pre-dip spray. Now we have the dip release. Put that on a microfiber towel. And we'll apply it off. Okay, then the next step will be the pre-dip spray. It will spray it on the microfiber towel. Spray it on and then we'll clean the surface up. All right, I have all four wheels prepped. Uh, dip release is on. I did the pre-dip spray or cleaner, and I made sure that the, where the, or the wheel and the rubber touch, that it's completely clean. Plastics behind protecting the calipers and the rotors. And I'm gonna start my first um, coat. So the first two coats will be just tack coats, very light coats. You wanna get the material to bind. You don't want to try to get color right now. Um, so I'm gonna do the first coat here. I'll give you an idea of how light it goes on. That's it. I'm gonna work my way around all four wheels. And by the time I come back to this one, should be close to being dry. I'll put a second tack coat on, work my way around again, and then we'll start our little bit wetter coats. Okay, I made it around and I'm ready to start my second coat. I actually added the little handle on it and I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it works. But we'll do the second tack coat 
and then uh, we'll work our way around again and then we can start going a little bit heavier. Okay, we'll let this one dry, work our way around. So I do use the handle for our four wheels uh, and I did like the way it works, so I'm gonna continue to use it. This will be my first, what they call wet coat. It doesn't go on um, wet like the plastic dip did. It goes on a little bit more of a medium coat, but you're gonna continually go over the wheel till you start to get a little bit more of a, a wet look. So you're not trying to lay it down heavy because it's a uh, lesser viscosity it can run. So we'll try to achieve that wet by going over it with moderate passes. When you're doing this, you also wanna get different angles on the wheel like spraying up because you have all these areas that you might not hit by just going straight back and forth. All right, guys, we'll continue to do this. They do give you five cans to do all four wheels and they recommend that you use all five cans on the four wheels. All right, guys, let me show you where we're at here. So wheels are done. They're still drying. And they got uh, 13 coats on here. They say about 12 coats or so. So I'll get a little closer up so you can see the finish on it. All right, I still need to pull the plastic out and take the rubber off the sidewall of the tire. So. I need to wait about an hour, so I got a little bit of time yet. And the back is all masked up, and I have a tack coat on right now, and that'll take five to seven coats. So let's walk around the other side. I'll show you what I'm doing in the front here. And that's masked up as well. So we have this here, and I got a tack coat on there as well. Front and back are both um, hyper dipped in the shadow black. I am going to start unmasking shortly here. I have seven coats on, the wheels are done. Uh, here's the back right here. I'm gonna peel this off as well, see how that goes. I'm gonna let this footage roll and I'll record some uh, instructions of what I'm doing as I'm peeling the tape off here. In certain spots, I'll slow it down if I think it's important for me to note something. Otherwise, I'll have the video sped up so it's not too boring. So right here in the corner, actually, uh, I would have masked it a little bit differently. I did not put the tape right into the joining uh, edge, the hard edge between that front balance and the bumper. 
uh, thinking that I would be able to pull away the hyper dip and it would break away at that junction. Um, so, or that hard line, I should say. So I would have taped it up right to the hard line because where I peeled the tape back, it actually was a clean break. So I would have masked that front a little bit differently. This is the back. I'm just taking the tape off the frame here. Um, I'm just trying to get down to where the hyper dip reach the first layer of tape and then from there you need to be a little careful that's when you start to peel up the product and you should pull the product away from the emblems now you can kind of see as i'm doing it here you don't want to pull it up and towards the emblems it provides too much of an opportunity for the material to peel uh, right up and over and off the emblem so work it slowly take your time peel um grab that edge just to peel away. And then another note as i'm watching this is don't be afraid to build it up off the emblems and around the frame area that's where you want to start the peeling process and if it's too thin it becomes a real problem to try to find that edge to start the whole peeling process so make sure you build it up as well it'll provide a easier way to find the edge and to start pulling it so uh, i did notice also with some of the letters especially the e and even between the e and the r right there uh, where it's real tight that it's hard and this is where i use a tool now dip your car sells a spudger tool you can use that that would work really well you can use a toothpick or i think what i'm using here actually is a kebab stick which is like a large toothpick and you can see when i grab it here shortly right here um so between those letters that are real tight you actually take the tip of the tool and you start to roll it around the material until the material grabs the tip and then you can start to peel back from there sometimes it's hard to get in between those tight spots with your just your fingers so the tool does come in handy in those tight spots so as I finish it up here, uh, one thing I also wanted to say was the Toyota symbol above, I left all black. And I stepped back, I looked at it, and I was happy with it. And at the last moment, I decided that I was going to start to take the hyper dip out from the under part of the emblem and just leave the emblem itself black. So you'll see that in just a little bit. But uh, I, I was very happy that I made that decision. I thought it looked a little bit sharper. So overall, the, the job from start to finish took me right around four hours to do the tools and the front and back. And I have to say that for the probably $125 spent, it was the best money uh, I could have spent for an appearance change on this truck. Absolutely love the final product. I hope you guys like it too. I appreciate you watching the video. and. Uh, I have a ton more content coming, so hang in there, uh, subscribe to the channel. We are taking this guy off-road for more adventures, and I'll record those as we do it. And I'm going to show you some before and after footage here. Enjoy, and have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.